All right, hey, the debate. There it is on TV. It's on every TV right now. Oh, yeah. God, I uh, I stayed up for that horse crap. So did I. A Drudge Report, one word, boring. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was more fun. You got to uh, actually um, get into a pal talk room with people that are watching it, mm-hmm. and then you could goof on stuff back and forth. Is that what you were doing? Yeah, it's kind of fun that way. What was know? going on in the pal talk room? Who won the debate? Well, knowing our listeners, they're all from McCain, probably, uh, right? No, you'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. A lot of fun, you know, words being thrown around. Well, that's but, what I'm getting at. You know, certain people. It's like a CB radio? Yeah. yeah, it is. It's like a CB radio. <laughs> uh huh. But uh, yeah, no, I, I watched the uh, the whole thing, and uh, wow, boring. I made it to ten o'clock. It was I, dull. I was done. They they concentrated a lot on the economy mm-hmm. because that's like the big thing that these two can try to rip each other apart on. the The thing about watching these debates is they both bash each other about either doing or not doing something that's bad, whether they did it or didn't do it, and then the other one stands up, denies that he ever did it. And then accuses the other one of doing the same thing yeah. that he was just accused of. So you sit there and go, well, now i got to go and research this and find out who's lying. And then there's, it's such government speak and lawyer talk when you're trying to read through you know, who actually signed off on certain bills and everything that there's no way the common man could actually figure this crap out. So you're just stuck. You sit there and watch these debates going, one of them or both of them are lying. Why are they so polite to each other? I mean, the, the body language uh, made it look like they want to kill each other, but uh, when there was a chance to really go for it, they backed off. Why? I don't know. I think I think people are turned off by that these days you in think? this politically correct age, and especially when you got a, a black guy running, it, it, McCain isn't going to jump on him too bad because it looks bad. It's like, oh, sure. You know, the old white guy is picking on the, the, the black guy. Mm-hmm. And then... Obama can't do it because he doesn't want to come off to the white voters like an angry black guy. Mm-hmm. This is just the way it is. But there are a few times Obama's like, oh, can, can I respond to what he just did? That's that's no, crazy. I told you this is a one minute. <laughs> I couldn't even. Segment. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> can I just tell you, you, oh, you ruined the whole debate for me. Because all I pictured was you <sighs> doing your. Oh, Tom Brokaw. Tom what? Brokaw. I didn't even know he was uh, going to be the moderator until yeah. I turned on the debate and just went, thank you, God. Because <laughs> him it, as a moderator is just the dumbest thing. Let's put in someone who can speak. Before we jump into this, uh, we got to play the intro because uh, Tom Brokaw is worse than we remember with those L's. As he gets older, he has a little rougher time saying his L. <laughs> Good evening from Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Tom Brokaw of NBC News, and welcome to this second presidential debate sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. Tonight's debate is the only one with a town hall format. The Gallup organization shows 80 uncommitted voters from the Nashville area to be here with us tonight. And earlier today, each of them gave me a copy of their question for the candidates. From all of these questions and from tens of thousands submitted online, Online. I have selected a long list of excellent questions on domestic and foreign policy. Neither the commission nor the candidates have seen the questions, and although we won't be able to get to all of them tonight, we should have a wide-ranging discussion. Three. One month before the election. (laughs) Each candidate will have two minutes to respond to a common question, and there will be a one-minute follow-up. The audience here in the hall has agreed to be polite and attentive, no cheering or outbursts. Those of you at home, of course, are not so constrained. Pal talk. Thanks. Yeah, it sounds like he yeah. runs out of air or something. There's something that goes Rawr. on, when he, especially when he says L. Yeah. Here, I... Tom Brokaw from NBC. This debate will be in a town hall style. <laughs> we took a lot of questions from a lot of people. Tens of thousands, and then he's got to say, obviously, we will not get to all of them. <laughs> really? I'd like to run through 10,000 questions with these two dolts. It'd be November 1st, all right, question number 500. He had to get a little feisty uh, a couple of times. Oh, boy, he? he was... He, he keeps order, though. you got to give it to old Tom Brokaw. Yeah. He, he keeps order. Uh, Obama was going off, and he's like, uh, Senator Obama, could you please keep your answers down to one minute? And not the gentleman. <laughs> I, 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 I wrote down some of the words he had trouble with. Gallup. Gallup. The Gallup poll. The Gallup poll. Gallup. Gallup poll. Gallup. 
He almost had a seizure trying to say gallop oh, pole. Ho- horse running pole. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. You'll yeah. understand. <laughs> he also couldn't say earlier. <laughs> the time before later. Thank God the word online is not a popular word these days because he, oh, he, he had a tough time with that one. The intra tubes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, a long, long list he had a problem with. A long list of, and, uh, of questions that I called. Yeah, and then the simple word all. He, uh, all. All. Yeah. All. <laughs> all. 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 <laughs> I had a marble mouth. <laughs> but he was moderating last night, and he did a uh, rule with an iron. <laughs> 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 I rule with an iron. None of your inanigans. I don't understand why John McCain can't hold a microphone. Okay, we're taking questions from black people. Let's see how McCain handles this one. Oh, with contempt. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't shake the hands of any of the. Uh, like I think there were two people. He wouldn't the first two people off the bat were uh, black people in the uh, town hall meeting. Yeah, and. Um, he wouldn't acknowledge them or well the black names. woman he forgot her name and didn't look at her everyone yeah. else he was looking right in their eye was literally like yeah. feet away from them well did you see that one navy guy there was another navy guy and um he gave a question and said that he had served in the navy and he was a chief petty officer or something mm-hmm. and uh, mccain just friggin hobbled over there in that way where you clinch your butt cheeks when you got to go real bad yeah that's how he walks <laughs> with the mic held in his hand with his elbow at a perfect 90 degree angle <laughs> and he would just shuffle over there and he pats him on the back and kind of shakes his hand robo mccain did you see him drop the every time he was done he just his hand would let release the mic yeah and he'd catch it with the other hand the yeah. good hand i thought he was just gonna slam it down like eddie murphy after a set <laughs> thank you <laughs> poof he moves Poof. He moves like a South Park character yeah, <laughs> yeah his legs <laughs> don't really he just kind of bobbles back and uh, forth just, Poor bastard. And, uh, you, you don't want to make those jokes. He's a, oh. he's a war hero and all that. But, man, you look at him like, oh, my God, it looks painful just to breathe. And that old bitty that got up and asked that question, I don't even remember what the question was. I was too fixated on her hick, hillbilly, old bitch delivery. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do about what the black candidate? <laughs> How would McCain said that one? Yeah, that one. That one. Uh, the, he what? was referring to Obama by yeah, saying that one? Yeah. That one. That one. They're trying to figure out what he meant by that. Well, we all know what he meant by that. <laughs> well, those people. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He meant yeah. those yeah. people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Tom Brokaw, whatever. And they, t- yeah, just talking about the economy. Yeah. A lot of people worried about what's going to happen with the economy. Being that they've lost, lost this job, a lot of unemployment, a lot of, a lot of, people aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very difficult for Americans to live a lot, live a lot, live a lot, live a lot to get yeah. by. Yeah. Can you say uh, Wall Street, uh, Mr. Brokaw? Well, ah, the problems on Wall Street, uh, acting Main Street, <laughs> Wall Street, uh, that financial place down there with the bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a treat to watch, though. You got to give it to him. And you notice he's getting those um, those Mr. Burns liver spots on the side yeah. of his head, on the temples. Ah. None of us escaped that, I guess. <laughs> yes. Time will give you the liver spots. Next spot. question, Smithers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he does. He's got those three perfect liver spots on his temples. I, I wanted someone to challenge Tom Brokaw when he, you know, he was trying to like get control of the situation. It would have been great if uh, Obama and McCain just said, "Shut up." Yeah, stop it. There yeah. he is. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, he had a he had a uh, reprimand him a couple of times. Yeah. You see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot the bright things on the floor. <laughs> To instruct you uh, when the minute is up. Yeah. I don't <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing that the <laughs> is really taking more time <laughs> than the Jesus. other guy. God, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm not an anchor anymore. I can say whatever the <laughs> I please. <laughs> Tom Brokaw, NBC Nightly News. We're here at the debate between the white guy and the 
<laughs> Thank God for the beep button. <laughs> saving me. You don't have to worry about ratings anymore, Mr. Brokaw. I meant the white guy and the liberal. Yeah. Li- yeah. Lib- lib- oh, oh. Mm. Mm. That's a toughie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, who won the debate? Uh, who won the debate, Mr. Brokaw? I uh, believe I have to give it to uh, Barack Obama. Yeah. Yes. Uh, as I looked on the screen, I saw the Ohio undecided vote. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that the undecided Ohio voters were actually paying more attention and liked what Obama was saying more than me. <laughs> Did you notice that the women uh, really, in, really liked the Obama guy? Because he's got a huge. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That's why they That's... got jungle fever. They got jungle fever. They don't. They don't mind that stereotype, right, Tom? No, of course not. <laughs> when he got up, of course, uh, it was like uh, they just showed him from the waist up yeah. because he had tremendous. <laughs> was just pushing out <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> Town hall meeting <laughs> style. <laughs> a lot of bitches up in this joint. <laughs> They were digging the old Obama. They loved him. Yeah. I think he won. He came across as in more uh, a casual, and he could walk like he didn't have to take a <laughs> <laughs> It's like, jeez, come on, McCain, you've got a debate to go on. Get in the bathroom and let out some <laughs> <laughs> Looking like it with his butt cheeks clenched, clen- clen- tight. <laughs> Tightly together. NBC Nightly. Yeah. Tom Brooks uh, moderating this great debate where uh, the excitement is just. <laughs> jeep, jeep, jeep. Jeep, jeep, jeep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, I was very happy to see him uh, moderating. I think he did, a g- he did do a good job, like, for the circumstance. It was boring as hell. They don't want to get into things. And uh, some of the uh, talking heads afterwards were saying, um, this is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> no, they were saying... They were saying he, they didn't get into a lot of the um, other issues. Like like the basic things they get into abortion, gun control, thing things like that because the economy was just such a big issue. And then they talk about health care and stuff, but they've been missing so many things. This was a carbon copy of uh, of the last debate. So mm. I don't know. Well, uh, illegal immigration was supposed to be a big uh, yeah. Topic. That was, that was, no, what we happened to that? We don't give a crap because our four hundred ones are going away. Yes. Yeah, let, let the Mexicans work. On, I don't give a crap. Bring them back in. Ever since they started kicking them out, our economy sucks. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Exactly. Bring, bring them back. Yeah, let let them be. <laughs> Save my four hundred one. Uh, Jim in Ohio, how are you, buddy? Hey, good. How you doing? Good. Uh, I hope oh, you went to uh, bed too early. Mm-hmm. You uh, you missed how um, Brokaw had the um, problem with the word situation. He was struggling through that one a little bit. Oh, really? Situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all but. Talking is a difficult situation. <laughs> How did he get so far in in, in, in media and in, in broadcasting with that? I know, it's like with a, that impediment. The guys at a, 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 NBC must have been like, we need a, an anchor guy, the main guy, the main man. Right. Let's pick a guy that cannot say his L's <laughs> and just hope no stories come up with L's. Yeah. Except for that first one he had, the Achille Lauro, <laughs> the cruise ship Achille Lauro taken over by terror. <laughs> Leon Klinghoffer was pushed <laughs> on the deck of the Achilles. Oh, screw it. I can't do this. Gig. <laughs> Forget it. No more L's. Hey, Tom, is Wall Street affecting Main Street? I, this, Wall Street. This question's coming in right is now. Is affecting Main Street. Yeah. Which means that the problems that perk up on Wall Street will affect the common man. Willie could Joseph. Right. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> right. going to have a hard time making ends meet. <laughs> Uh, Tom Brokaw looking like a wax figure. What, what's your thoughts on Sarah Palin? A lot of uh, there's a big buzz on the Sarah Palin. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even say Sarah Palin? Oh, you know, Sarah Pagan. Sarah what? Sarah Pagan. Uh, pa- Pagan. Pa- pa- she belongs to a motorcycle club here in New York. The Pagans. <laughs> Sarah Pagan. <laughs> Sarah Palin. Let's go to Rich in Boston. Rich. 
Hey, did you guys uh, hear this morning uh, when he was gone? I just want to sing a little song for Sarah Palin's Hold child. On. child. Yeah. Down to be, do down, down. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, down to be. A little joke. Yeah. Very low. low. What's up, Rich? <laughs> Did you hear uh, Tom Brokoff told her, tell those guys to get out of his way because he couldn't see the teleprompter? Oh, yeah, right at the end. Really? What happened? He was wrapping up. Well, that wraps up our debate, the second debate between these two candidates. Get the hell out of my way. <laughs> really? I can't see the word machine. <laughs> Don't try to even make me say Telga Parker. <laughs> Ted Pondit. Ted Helicopter. I'm reading off the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them from Teletubby. I love to read the Teletubby. It was kind of, it was fun to see him Television. trying to take charge. It just he was bobbing it was and laughable. weaving. They had a camera angle on him where the candidates were right in front of him. Yeah, uh, we couldn't see what he was looking at, obviously, because the camera's on him. Mm -hmm. But he was looking at the teleprompter and he couldn't see it. So you just saw him bobbing and weaving, trying to get his head between the candidates. And uh, then they brought out the wives. Uh, got Tom Brokaw saying situation. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll get into that after the break. Yeah. We got to we'll take advantage of the fact that Tom Brokaw is back in the news. Yeah. Anthony's been sitting on that impression for years. I love Tom Brokaw. That's right. More with Tom Brokaw and Robert Kelly after the break. Uh, <laughs> we brought it to your attention, so now we have to play it. Tom Brokaw during the debate last night yes. attempting the word situation. Senator Obama, let me ask you, if, let's see if we can establish tonight the Obama doctrine and the McCain doctrine for the use of United States combat forces in situations Ooh. where there's a humanitarian so crisis, but it does not affect our national security. <laughs> and what he does, he saves air to push out words that he can't it's say. Situation. <laughs> right. Don't bless you, Tom. <laughs> right. I thought you sneezed when you said situation. Situation. <laughs> uh, the McCain doctrine. What is that? That's the buzzword of this. Uh, well, because you had the Bush. Thing, the doctrine. Well, the, the Bush doctrine. I want an Anthony doctrine. What's what's the Anthony doctrine? Uh, well, can't say it on uh, the air, I guess. Yeah. We, we kinda, All right. I think everyone out there knows what I answered my own is. question. Yeah. I know what it is. Okay. Yeah. I know what my doctrine is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Tom Brokaw telling the guys to get out of the way because he wanted to see the reading. Yeah, please. That concludes tonight's debate from here in Nashville. We want to thank our host here at Belmont University in Nashville and the Commission on Presidential Debates. And you're in my way of my script there, if you will move. <laughs> in addition to everything else, there is one more presidential debate on... Michelle Monday. Obama's fat ass is in my way. <laughs> could you move... Uh, Barack, could you move your wife's huge, fat, bulbous ass out of the way of my teleprompter? <laughs> <laughs> he, he had the easy job. You really needed the reading machine at that point? Yeah, just, you're just saying just goodbye. Wrap, just wrap up the dumb hey, debate. Take it easy. Need the word. Okay, uh, later. Right. <laughs> I'm leaving. <sighs> oh, boy.